What is going on guys and welcome back once again, my name is Jordan, also known as J Monster, and you're watching the 5th episode, at least I believe it is the 5th, of our Dwarf Campaign. And we've got a pretty hefty task ahead of us this time. Uh, what I want to do for this episode is I want to take this entire province here with Ikrun as the capital. So we're going to take Stone Mine Tower, Bitterstone Mine, and uh, the Dragonhorn Mines over here as well as Ikrun. Uh, the Greenskins do have some forces down here, I believe that uh, Grimgor Ironhide himself is hanging out somewhere down here, I, I think this is his army. Yeah, that's definitely Grimgor, and he's got, oh, he's already got a couple of his uh, unique items, so he's going to be a tough fight. On a good day, he's a tough nut to crack, but when he's armed with purple items, oh, good lord. Uh, so our plan is going to be uh, to surround and isolate Ikrun, so we're going to take Stone Mine Tower with Orgrim's army, and we're going to move down here and take uh, Bitterstone Mine with this fellow's army. Uh, for whatever reason, under underway stance like causes a drop of like 20 frames, it's ridiculous. So we're going to take Bloodstone Mine from these troops here. They're going to run away because they are cowards! Uh, what's this for? Magic Resistance 25. Uh, that would be useful to have on maybe one of our Longbeards? I don't know. Uh, but we're just going to auto-resolve that because it's not even worth our time to fight it. Kill! Um... Let's occupy it. I want to, uh, I want to be able to issue provincial edicts, and we can't do that if we destroy the place. Uh, let's see. Mm, full plate armor. Dwarves don't usually have any problems with morale, especially early on. Uh, yeah. The other one's just more useful. And we will take... Come on, get out of that. Oh yeah, so a couple things. I've added a whole bunch of submods to this, which are amazing. Uh, they flesh out rosters for everybody. No, like, core mechanics are changed. Uh, so it's not going to be like we're playing like a different game per episode. Just a lot of another, a lot of cool units. You're especially going to like that for the Chaos campaign. Let me tell you why. Because uh, we can now represent all of the Chaos deities with unique units on the field, which is just amazing. I'm so excited to show you guys that. Uh, but Foist, we'll get into that later when uh, the next episode of Chaos comes out. So let's uh, let's take this this little orc settlement here. Uh, we will occupy it. Retake the realm. Increase our uh, our funds just a wee bit. Uh, what do we want to do here? Mm, rune of Might, definitely. Weapon, what, yeah, weapon strength of this is pretty huge, so let's do that. For the wisdom of the uh, you can't move anywhere yet. Let them replenish. Black Crag should definitely be on our list of things to smash. Yes. Uh, but we do have a rebellion up here, so we're going to move access. these guys into range. And, uh, oh, I wish we had another general up here. That'd be really useful if we could use him to initiate combat. Um, we're going to chase those orc rebels down. We're going to destroy them. Our economy is not hurting so bad anymore. Uh, we're making actually quite a lot of money. Hmm. Dragonhorn Mines. There's a lot of attrition areas between us and Dragonhorn Mines, so we have to use our underway stance to uh, pop under the hills. Raiding! Uh, we'll do that. And let's kill them all. Woo! Ready. Nothing more out of you. Oh, we lost a couple of our longbeard units, though. So we may have to. That's expensive. He doesn't really need long beards if he's the defense force, though. So we'll just give him regular old dwarf warriors who are cheaper. Yeah, that'll do. That's plenty, I think. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. We can always we can always recruit more units later if he needs it. I find my forces are stretched a little too thin. Okay, so let's move down here. We'll take Bitterstone Mines. Or Dragonhorn Mines. But uh, Thorgrim needs to move down here now. Um, yeah, see, look at that. Undermine stance. Sudden drop in frame rate. That's that's crazy. Uh, so we're going to put him in that. Move him there, and then we'll just pop out in front of Ikrun next turn. Uh, and then we'll take Dragonhorn Mines, and then we'll move our armies into here to take Ikrun from the uh, dwarves. So far, the Dwarven Blitzkrieg has gone famously. Uh, we are going to have to contend with some of the troops down here, though. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried about this isolated army. Um, let's see here. Interlocking shields, we have that. 
Volley Fire we have, Superior Black Powder. We don't have any Black Powder units yet. Um, recruitment cost for Long Beards. We do have a lot of artillery. Let's do that. It seems like a pretty good idea. I really can't get close enough to attack them, huh? But we're like right there. Hmm. What do I want you to have? Well, plate armor make you a little bit stronger. Tactician. Uh, put in an axe lord. Perfect. A lot of money too. We should start playing with our diplomacy a little bit. See if we can't convince some of our dwarven brothers to uh, confederate with us. I know Zufbar really likes us. We've been working on relations with them uh, the entire time. Let's see if we can't break some of the other disparate dwarf folds into the fold. Katakian. Improving. So for some reason it was minus nine. Um, Greetings, kinemen of the hold. Oh, cool. I do for you? Let's do that. That's a good way to get things started, with just like little treaties if you're just trying to like butter up a new faction. Just little stuff like that. Small steps. Uh, that'll be good. How's Zifbar doing? Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink. Oh, moderate success chance. No way. Um, let's offer them a little bit of money first. Yeah, I'll give them a small gift. See if we can't butter them up a little bit more. Aw, oh, but maybe we'll confederate with Zufbar. That'd be awesome. And then we'd have whole, we'd have uh, a hold on everything up here, and we wouldn't uh, have to worry too, too much about the vampires. To war. How are things going in Mount Gunbad? Pretty well. And we'd have the whole province, too, because that belongs to Zufbar. Yeah, I don't really want to fight them for it. How you doing? Okay, so you're now here. That's where you need to be. Let's take these guys out. That's right. And we will occupy Dragonhorn Mines. This is going really well so far, uh, but we haven't actually gotten the door or the uh, Orcish counterattack yet. Uh, let's see here. Inspiring presence, yeah. Opens up that whole tree, so let's do that. Um, Onward. And I think... Yeah, so if we get attacked here, we'll actually get a garrison. Which would be really useful. Yes. Uh, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. It's probably got a massive garrison. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, they even got trolls. And arrow boys. Biggins. Uh, let's end the turn there. Hmm. Ikran does pose us a bit of a a bit of a problem. Because that army is gonna be besieging that forever. Instead that we can't like undermine into the dwarf hold. I mean Ikran is previously a dwarf hold. Oh cool, it all it all finishes in one turn. I guess that must be one of the mods that I have. Uh actually. Uh, let's give plus eight leadership. Uh, that's an augment. So yes, we'll give that to Thorgrim. I guess we'll give this to one of our dwarf warriors. I guess. I mean, why not? Uh, and that will do. Hmm. They're gonna be full strength next turn. Uh, how are you guys doing? Maybe if we can find some... We don't have any public order in that province. So let's make... Yes, a refectory. Varenka Hills. Damn, this is a big province. We may fight them at some point. I don't really like the border princes. Uh, they're back to full health, so... Let's pop them under there. Man, I love Underway Stance. It's so good. I war on them. Do you? Uh, that will do for that turn. Uh, 
I wonder if we get like a massive siege battle going. That would be awesome. A couple of dwarven armies assaulting uh, Ikrund, taking back one of their an ancestral holds. Karak Angazar. Oh, the border princes have been taking stuff from the dwarves too. Other dwarven clans, they're gonna have to die. That's that's a grudge in right there. It's going in the book. Um, I need public order right now more than anything. Uh, Black Crag also on my shit list. Hmm. I kind of want to make maybe another army. Oh God, underway stance. What's wrong with you? Oh, something else can be upgraded here. Uh, well, it's already been constructed in that province. Well, why don't we wreck this? And try and put something else in there. Time for a reckoning. Yeah, it doesn't give a garrison or anything, so. For the wisdom of Valaya. Barakvar. This is this hold itself, the central area. Produces dyes. <laughs> it's kind of not what I expected. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Nothing out of the greenskins. Uh, we got something we can build here. What should it be? Uh, trinket maker. Yes. So we're gonna take these guys up here, just temporarily. Destroy them. Attack. Hmm. Do you guys want to fight that? Oh, I bet you guys want to fight that. Okay. Let's do it. This is going to be interesting. Um, it's a pretty small force, but you know what? We don't have a lot of siege battles, do we? I don't think we've had any yet. So this is, yeah, this is going to be it. We're going to overwhelmingly destroy these guys. Uh, so, some other cool sub-mods, actually, now that I think about it, um, on the topic of battles, it makes the AI a lot more aggressive, and they don't, like, wait until they have you at a 5 to 1 uh, advantage before attacking you. So, we will actually get to fight people a little bit more in this campaign, which I am super excited about. Uh, you really don't need to be on those, do you? Um, how do I get you to drop them? Uh, yeah, that's how. Okay, cool. What's the hotkey? There isn't one. Cool. Mm, they have a missile defense thing on them. Yeah, 20% missile resistance. That's really useful. So they'll be okay. Um, let's take half. Oh, I can't tell which ones have stuff on them and which ones don't. Uh, Miner should probably take one of these. Uh, can Thorgrim push one? No. <laughs> Guys on the throne pushing a guy pushing <laughs> a giant tower. That would be awesome. Uh, let's see here. And we're going to be getting some reinforcements as well. So we're going to move these guys back. And we'll have them focus, I think, on one of these towers. Okay, so we'll slow that down. Bam. Defenses must fall, my lord. Storm the city. Press your attack. Hmm. You're not going anywhere. So, go over there. Woo! And where are our long beards? Oh, yeah, here come the reinforcements. Let's start moving it up. Let's move our quarrelers forward. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. Uh, you get in there, smash that now that they're all focused on... Uh, throw Thorgrim up there. Move your butt forward. Uh, yeah, let's hit those orc boys with one of these. I wonder if we can overcast these. Nope, you can't. Well, 
What we got over here? Oh wow. These things really do hit you from like across the friggin' map. The rest of you get over here. Oh, look at this. Look at this mighty dwarven force. These guys aren't doing very well. Oh, that's a. That one was destroyed, wasn't it? Let's see if we can't get them. There we go. Up and over, boys. Over the top. Let's take a look at this. Let's pause and take a look. Oh, yeah, here they come. These big dwarven chess pieces spewing forth dwarven warriors. Aw, yes. Take a look all the way down the line here. They're doing real well, our quarrelers right there. Good firing position. They have that nice arc. See if there's anything behind here that they can hit. All of our towers make it, for the most part, with the exception of one. You guys, you guys should drop that. Let's see here. Alright, move these guys into position over here. Let's try and micro our troops on the wall. We need to start doing stuff. Yeah, we need to get them down there and start chasing these guys around. How are our hammers doing up at the wall? Well, they're not even there yet. Come on. Uh, hit them. Yes. Come on, get your butt up there. I don't know, what are you guys doing? Get over here. Move our long beards over here to the front. Attack! Come on, guys, get in there. What are they fighting? Some orc boys, I believe. Oh, I can't quite see. There's crap in the way. There we go. Oh, they're fighting biggins. Oh, they're doing pretty well. Winning decisively, apparently. They're, yeah, Nasha one fingers in that unit. Uh. What does that do? Oh, it just affects people within range. I see. Come on. Get in there, boys. Oh, man. Just an epic battle here on the walls. We can move our long beards in here as well to support the hammerers. These guys are almost dead. How are we doing on the walls? So far, so good. We've completely wiped them out on the walls. Ah, uh, my big concern are these guys over here. Because we're going to have to run over there and fight them, and I don't particularly want to. Uh, where are our grudge throwers? Oh, looks like they took down one of our grudge throwers. Potentially. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no. That's a grudgeon. These guys are still running. God, dwarves are so slow. So many of them still up here on the walls. Let's take a quick look. That might not be a bad day, bad idea for our grudge or for our uh, corollers to start shooting into them instead of our own troops. Yeah, I got our dwarves moving in here on the side. These guys are just trapped and they're doomed, and they're surrounded down here at the gate too. Those hammerers didn't lose half the unit, which I am shocked by because they usually just die like dogs. Uh, that missile 
defense thing is really very useful. Come on. You can shoot them. It's okay. Who's this guy? Oh, that's our that's our other lord. Whatever. He wasn't really needed for this fight anyways. Oh, look at this. You guys are just getting peppered. They're done. Yeah, I'll move them all up into the wall. Run! What we got here? Got some goblins returning. I love goblins. They're amazing. Stab them with arrows. We get some of our corollars in there. Yes, we did. Get them. That's right. You better friggin' run. Oh man. Oh, that's awesome. How are we doing over here? So far, so good. Oh wow, just brutal, just savage beating going on here. Wow, it's really hard for artillery to take down walls. It's better to just rush them, I guess, with ladders or whatever. Yeah, run him out of the city. These are dwarf lands once again. Where are Longbeard's at? Come on. Hey, what? You're not letting me attack with you. What? Are you like on a wall or something? Oh, I guess you can't get in there? Oh no, you can't go up in the walls, that's why. You can, though. Yeah, hit that higher health unit of uh, arrow boys with one of our... Uh, Runes of Wrath and Ruin. Oh, wrecked. Boom. Oh yeah, they're shattered. Get out. Well, that was pretty friggin' awesome. I'm very happy with that. Uh, and that's it. We'll end the battle right there. We knew we were gonna win, but, uh, Damn, look at those losses, too. It was no problem. But yeah, we knew we were going to win. It's just it's nice to see a siege battle, although I wish there was more maps. That's one of my big complaints about this game, is that there's, like, no... It seems like there's not really a whole lot of effort that was put into siege battles. Loot and occupy. Nah, we'll just occupy. Nice! And so now we have the whole province. Okay, so what we're going to do... Oops. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's do public order, because, yeah, they're feeling positively mutinous. I'll move you over there. Oh, you get leveled up, too. That's awesome. Leveled up two of our lords at once. I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's see. What's the next thing he should have? Mm -hmm. He doesn't need pure beard, beard just yet, although we are getting pretty close to the Chaos Invasion. I believe it starts around turn 75. Um... We'll discard veteran for now. We need some more health. Retake the uh, a couple of points for you. I really want to do one of these in the next turn, or in the next uh, episode. That's, so that's definitely going to happen. I can't decide what we're going to go for first. Armor, Skaldor, or Axe of Grimnir. Uh, maybe the Axe. I like Axes. Axes are fun. So we'll take Rally and Rune of Grimnir. Me Axe thirsts, thirsts. Sound like a bunch of northerners. Bunch of bearded, unwashed northerners. Speaking of, who's excited for the Game of Thrones finale tonight? Oh, it's going to be so good. Uh, things are starting to stabilize over here in Karak Duran. Hmm. Up here. You have suddenly gained a level for some reason. 
Uh, whoa. Over there. I'll give you Route Marcher. What did I put your first point into? Oh, no, you're just level 2. I see. Time for a reckoning. Oh, I'll do that. Cool. Hmm. Well, let's talk to Zufbar, see if we can get them to confederate with us. That would be amazing. How much money do we have to throw around? Very friendly, but deteriorating. Oh, we better do it soon, then. Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink. Let's offer them... Let's offer them all of our money. They say no. Oh, they rejected us. Oh, Zuff Bar. But I want to be friends. Um, I give you a little gift. What do you think about that? Huh? Excellent. Well, we'll see if we can't go about confederating with them in the next few turns. Uh, our public order is doing really well. Hmm. Up in all provinces, I'm just good to see. One rug. What are you doing with yourself? Not a whole lot. Well, let's end the turn there. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Is that a goblin great shaman or a goblin big boss? I don't really know what they're good for. Grave news, my lord. Oh there no! Spreading across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. The armies of chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Prepare your oh, wow. as well. For the Things are not looking good up north. I see a lot of no raised territories. Quest for Rise of chaos. Oh man, there's nothing we can do about that for now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sure. Barley field. Uh, let's do a little bit of growth for that province. Uh, let's send out some feelers here. Looks like we got an orcish counterattack brewing over here. Hmm. I don't think they can approach Ikren through here, though they could use Undermine Stance. That would really suck. Um, but we do need to support this other army, so we're going to move our troops forward here onto the front lines. See if we can't bait them into like a big 2 on 2 battle. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, Summon me if you dare. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Move him into Doc Karaz. A little bit more public order for that province. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, things are heating up here. I think it may be time to create another army soon. Uh, let's go one more turn. We'll do one more turn and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't, uh, that cha chaos coming out of nowhere like that, that kind of scared me a little bit. I don't think we're on turn 75 yet, which is one that I think they're supposed to start. Oh, Zufbar's down here. Oh, my buddy. Ruinous powers have been sighted nearby. What? The forces of chaos wish to bring about the end times. Beat them down at every opportunity. Ah, crap. Um, oh, risk more sleep's wrath for the time being because we need the money. Uh, what do we got here? Yes, we will do that. Um, where, did, where were they sighted? I didn't see them. Oh man, we really need Zufbar to be buddies with us. Hmm. 
Looks like we got Grimgore and one of his buddies down there. There, so we don't have attrition. There we go. Uh, you should not have attrition. There we go. So we got a showdown set up for the next episode. So that is number five. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be picking it up with... I don't know if we're going to have Warriors of Chaos next or if we're going to have a fun little video uh, based around DAC. I know one of my viewers wanted me to do a quick video for like tactics on uh, the Wild Men of Dunland who are kind of one of the, I don't want to say weaker, but pound for pound they can't really stand up as well against uh, other factions. So they are definitely harder to play. There's a bit of a knack to it. Um, so I think we'll probably do that next. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.